What up, y'all? It's Mel. I wanted to do this video because a lot of people don't know what goes along with cremating a pet. Um, we recently lost Scrappy, and um, he died at home. Um, this company I contacted, they came, they picked him up, they cremated him, and they returned his ashes. And let's see, they came got him Monday, they returned his ashes on Wednesdays. Now, all companies are not that fast. <coughs> Excuse me. This is our second pet that we're, we've had cremated. The first one was Snow, Scrappy's mother. Now, with her cremation, um, they came, picked her up, they cremated her, and they, they returned her to us in this urn. But the urn came in a bag. Um, and in the bag, there was a death certificate, there was a candle, there was a plaque for her picture to be put on. The plaque's right here. I took it off because over the years it slid and it was covering her, her name plate. But it came with a candle and a nice poem about pet loss and all that. And, um... Another little thing about pet loss. With, I know you can hear Keisha screaming in the video. Please excuse her. Um, she's on the phone with her family. And you know how it is when you're on the phone with your family. Um, this is Snow. We had her cremated mm, about six years ago. And I know a lot of you people are sitting up there saying, Y'all black. <laughs> black people don't cremate their animals. They just put them in a trash bag and get rid of them. Correct. But when Snow died, she died the day after trash collection. Um, and she died while it was still hot. So even if I would not have did, chose this option for cremation, I still had to call someone to come pick her up. Um, yes, the city does pick them up, but with my experience with the city picking up dead bodies, uh, caucuses, they take their time. It could have been a day or two, like, she could have exploded in the yard, you know, like, and we loved our baby. We didn't want that to happen to her. So, but I will admit, I got her weekend to pet cremations. Because when snow passed, I was just calling him to pick her body up. Then the man was like, you want us to return it to you? And the children was like, they was in the room. And they heard that. Keisha was right there and she heard that. And she went, what? You can do that? He said, yeah, it'll be a little extra cost. But we can return them to you. And... Um, that's how we got snow cremated. But snow cremation was only 150, 160. And I got more for my money. Um, the reason I didn't go with that company again was they're no longer available. So we're going to put snow right here. Now, this is Scrappy. This is how Scrappy was returned. In the bag from the company. Um... Your beloved pet Scrappy. And um, there's a little poem without about their condolences. And, um, you know, some little thing like that. Now, this is Scrappy's urn. <coughs> it's heavy. And he was not bigger than his mother. This is the quality of the urn that Scrappy was returned in. It's really nice. Um, Snows is okay too, but this one is really nice. Um, his name plaque is right there. 
with his birth date and his death date right there. This urn opens. I've never opened the urn. Let's see what's like. Oh, wow. Okay, this is like a burlap bag, but the edges are down here in the bag. Wow. That's a little up close and personal for me. Like, I don't think the iron should have been open. And there's something else in here. What is this? Forever wildflowers. To everything there is a season in the planting of the seeds. We celebrate the life that has passed and the beauty of the flowers. May they bring a smile to your heart. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm, ex I guess they're expecting us to bury the remains and plant these wildflowers on top. Um, let's see what's that, what these wildflowers look like. I know there's seeds, but let's 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 see. Forever wildflowers. Wow, lemon mint, black eyed Susan, plastering cone flower, plains, coral, coral piss, I guess, ray corn poppy. Plant in early spring or late fall. Best in late fall. Wow. And they're sitting in a little plastic container. Um, Crack cremation. Why do we pick that option? Well, we did snow. And we had scrappy even longer than snow. But I think the uh, the nail in the coffin for why we cremated Scrappy was when I told my family that we could just pay for them to come pick him up and cremate him, and that would be that. And I explained how they do that one instead of a private cremation. They all started to cry again. We all did. Because if you choose to let them pick your dog up and cremate them, they um they just throw them in with a bunch of other dogs. And when they finish, they just spread the ashes in the field. And uh, we were like, no, that's not an option for us. Like, we had scrapped it for like 11 years. It would have been 12 years in December. And um, he meant a lot to this family. You know, he was a protector. Uh, he was a playmate. And uh, I couldn't just see disposing of him like that. Um... Will I do it for my next dog? I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, because even though Scrappy was done nicely and they sent the little flowers and they gave us this nice urn, um, Scrappy costs double what it costs to do snow. And so, I'm not trying to incur that cost again for another dog. Um, I know some of y'all saying, ooh, this is a dog again. Ooh, how you paid that? Well, I paid nothing for Scrappy. And I paid 200 for his mama. So, we kind of even. Like, she gave me Scrappy because I bred him. I bred her and that was my puppy. And but so the cost of three hundred dollars for 
his cremation to return him to us. That's nothing. And you want to know something? I, it smells like him. That's crazy, but it does. It smells like him. So, um, anyway, let's, let's, I've told you about the cremation process and whatnot, or what you do when you receive your ashes, but how do you go about finding these places? Like, people really do those things, and why would they want to, and how do you find them? Um, both of the, the companies that I went through to create, cremate my animals, I found them online. I did my research. I found the, the cost. Most websites have the cost on there. If not, you can contact them and they will relay the cost to you. Um, I just went with the first one that I found reasonable that offered prices. But if you look around, you might be able to find someone cheaper um, if you're willing to call in, if you're willing to call them. Oh, what do I do if my pet dies after their hours? There's a number of ways you can do this. You can pre-plan it. You can do it at the vet. Or you can bring them to them. I don't ever choose to bring them to them. Because some of these places are also hospice for dogs. And, you know, after your dog died and you see a lot of other sick dogs around and whatnot, no, that's just like too much. But I guess I can get rid of this bag. And, um, <coughs> excuse me. That was a little fly I was trying to get rid of. I hit them, but I didn't kill them. And um, you can also bring him to the vet and for them to euthanize and call them from the vet. And they'll pick up your dog's body from the vet. Or you can call them from home. Um... But when you roll a dice, well, from home, you can home euthanize them as well. But if you roll a dice and let them drop, die naturally, and with both of my dogs, they died on the weekend. I only thank the Lord that Scrappy died that night. So he did not have to be on the premises that long before they came and got him. Because if they're there over 24 hours, you risk them exploding on you. Um, you know, like Scrappy died like at 10 o'clock at night. I called there after I was pickup service and uh, it wasn't happening. Nobody called me back. So I called them first thing at 8 o'clock when they, they opened. And he told me someone would be here around 11 to pick him up. I said, okay, that's pretty good. And uh, someone was here around 11 to pick him up. And when they pick your animal up, they bring their, just like a funeral home, they bring the body bag, they, and they also bring like um, a gurney. Um, the first company, he did not bring the gurney, but the second company did. Uh, they place your animal in the body bag and they carry it to their vehicle. And they lovingly do all this. Like, it's not like back in the day in the trash man to pick up the bag and just throw it on a truck and just hey, move on and crush your dog. No, they do all, uh, they gently place your animal in their vehicle. And they gently pick them up and place them in the body bag. Um, it was tough. It was tough for him to die. But it was really tough to watch this man 
not even, I didn't watch, I saw him put him in a bag, but I didn't watch up close uh, like that. Uh, Keisha did and the boys did. But um, from what I could see of it, I didn't want no parts of it. But it's hard to watch. It was hard for me to watch him wheel my, my dog out that I had had for so long. Like the doorbell rang. Excuse me. The doorbell rang earlier today. And I was waiting for him to bark. And it never came. So there's things I'm going to have to get used to. Um, but why did I choose cremation? Because we wanted him with us. Um, would I do it again? I don't know. I don't think so, though. Unless I can find someone more affordable or whatnot. Like, if I could find another company that's doing it for 150 like I did with Snow, I might do it. But if I have to pay 300 like with Scrappy, it won't happen. And, uh, wow, my son left his popcorn on the chat back there. And I'm just saying that, sir, because I normally would have them put their little toys up, so to speak. And, um, Would I do it again? I don't know. If I can find an affordable place that charges only one fifty, I would do it again. Because her pickup was fifty dollars, but that included the cremation. If I didn't want her back, their pickup is seventy five dollars plus another fifty if you don't want the body back. So. Their service was almost the same cost of getting a return from another company. Um, and that's what you can expect when you get your animal cremated and you want the ashes sent back to you. Uh, they'll come back in an urn. Some urns are openable, like scrappers, or not, like snows. Um... Snow did come with flowers, but it was on a pressed cardboard. It was totally different. Hold on. if Let me see. Terrell! Because he had it earlier. And I was like, what you doing playing with that? He was like, you know, it came with snow. I think. Give me that right there. Move it up. Yeah. Yeah. This is the one that came with snow. It's a little dog print. But it's uh it has flower seeds in it. And this is a, a little condolences type cloth. But if I was to put this in the ground it would uh, grow plants. Because I remember uh, they have dry flowers on it as well. But uh, I remember reading like the invoice and they said this is, these are flower seeds. So that came with her. And also a candle and her death certificate. Um, thanks for watching. If you're watching, much appreciation, much love to you. And uh, y'all going to be like, that's a long video for a dog. You rambling a lot. I'm still not 100% there, like with as far as my thought pattern and my speech and whatnot. Um, I was sick. And also, I have a lot of things on my mind because along with losing Scrappy, I also lost my little brother last week. So things are hard for me. Um, to Stephanie, 
and B. Jordan, thank you. Thank you for uh, for being family. Like, like um, I can't even say I'm being family. Thanks for being the fans that y'all are. And uh, yeah, y'all family too. But the reason I say I can't even say family is because some family don't watch my videos to the end. You two did, and I appreciate it. Um, y'all be blessed. Um, not just B. Jordan and Steph, but all of you. Y'all be blessed. Y'all be safe. Take care of yourself. Um, love yourself. Love your family. Do your social distancing. And uh, realize we're going to get over this. We're going to come together. And 2020 is going to be over with. Because 2020 has been a rough year for a lot of us. And uh, y'all be blessed. Uh, I... Peace, love, and happy, y'all. Later.